Hey guys, so I'm going to do the controversial parenting um, video today. This is my second time recording this. And I just wanted to make a little disclaimer before I start this video that um, if you disagree with me on any of these topics or you are taking offense to anything that I'm saying, please understand that these opinions are my opinions for my family. Um, I do not, um, I'm not trying to push my opinions onto anybody else. I'm just giving you the information that I know and the reasons that I feel the way that I do. If you feel differently, I totally support you in whatever decision you happen to make with you and your family. Um, but I also ask that you respect my decision. So the first one is pro-life versus pro-choice. And for myself, I am 100% pro-life. I would never have an abortion. I could never intentionally kill my own child. I have my own personal feelings against it and I feel really uncomfortable by that decision. Um, that being said, if that was a decision that you had to make if you know that is the best option for you or if that's a decision that you want to make for your family you know that is totally up to you the next one is baby wearing so um i had a snuggie with tay and i tried to carry him around but tay was nine pounds at birth and quickly gained weight snuggie um it was one that would go on your chest i'll try to insert a photo um, but it was one that went on your chest and it crisscrossed in your back and it would kill me like even when he was four months old the muscles up here would just kill me um with faith i didn't even have a carrier and we had wanted to get a movie wrap i you know she was already like four months old or something and i didn't feel like it was pointful to pay eighty dollars for a movie wrap that i was only going to use for a couple months so the next baby, I plan on buying a Moby Wrap while I'm pregnant, and then that way when the baby comes, I'll already have Moby Wrap, and it won't even be an issue. But any next one is circumcision, and I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on this, um, just because this is like such a hot topic, and I have a lot of information on it that I don't want to put in, but I do not agree with circumcision for my family. Uh, people in my family, family members that I have, um, adoption, and I don't really understand how this is a controversial thing. Um, I don't really know anybody that's like nay adoption. Um, but that being said, I could never go through an adoption myself. I could never put a baby up for adoption. Obviously, I have two. Um, but I do commend anybody and everybody that has given a baby up for adoption who has been selfless enough to realize that the best option for their child was to be with a family that could afford to have them and could financially and emotionally give them a stable and good life. The next one's baby piercing. So obviously I'm fine with baby piercing. I, for myself, would never baby or pierce my baby's earrings when she was under 12 months. She was 15 months when we got her ears pierced. And I still to this day feel comfortable with the decision that we made. I had my ears pierced young. It's breast milk versus formula. And obviously, well, actually, I don't even know if I've really talked about um, breastfeeding or anything. Uh, but I nursed Tay for I nursed Tay for 12 months. Um, he quit the day after his first birthday. So on February 15th, 2009, he quit nursing. And I only know that because it was the day after. And Faith quit nursing around... Um, she quit day nursing around 11 months and then she was only night feeding for another two weeks. That being said, if you have to formula feed and you can't breastfeed or you choose not to breastfeed or you're working and you need to formula feed, um, you know, formula is there for a reason. It is there to feed children. It is made for that. Um, do I think breast milk is better? Yes, they do. But formula is a great um, substitute for breast milk if you can't use it. Um, the next one, spanking, and I think, sorry if I sound terrible, I'm like super sick, um, <laughs> but I am going to do, I do want to do a separate video on spanking as well because, well, a discipline video on how we discipline and um, the difference between disciplining our four-year-old and our one but um, I do not believe in like the full-fledged like spanking really hard or using inanimate objects to spank. I will not. I only use my hand. Um, and like I said, that is a last re resort. And as far as Faith goes, we do not spank her. She's way too young to be spanked. Co-sleeping. And I actually did co-sleep with both my kids. I am totally for co-sleeping, uh, especially as a breastfeeding mom. I find it 10,000 times easier. Up with Tay for 18 months, and I think Faith close up with us for 10 months. Long. Um, the next baby, I definitely won't have co-sleep past a year. Next one is home versus public versus private versus charter schools. 
Um, I have no freaking idea what a charter school is. I don't even think they have charter schools in Canada. That being said, that is not even an option for our family. Private schools are not an option for our family. I do not want my kids in a private school. And I personally don't want to homeschool. Um, I don't feel that I can give my kids the education that they deserve in those situations to prepare them for the real world when they are adults. I want my kids to do good in the real world. I don't, you know, that's what I want. So I want my kids in public school because I feel that is the closest thing to putting them into a real life situation as you possibly can get. Um, next is vaccinations. I have got both my kids completely vaccinized. Um, I don't know if it's something just here, but um, when I did research on all of the vaccinations and everything, and I just want to say before I get any farther, if you want a really good video on vaccinations, um, please go watch Brittany and Baby's vaccination video because that video is freaking amazing. Like, amazing. It covers all topics all, all the way around. Um, but that being said, I did vaccinate, and here you do have to be vaccinated to go to a public school here. Um, you have to have a certain amount of vaccinations, and they have to be the certain type of vaccinations. Um, so we did go ahead and get the kids vaccinated. I did look into all of the vaccines that they were getting. Um, the only vaccine I do not agree with is the flu shot. So the next one is baby medicating. Sorry, my bang. As far as baby medicating goes, I think that medication is a great tool. It, it is. Um, that being said, I think people who over-medicate are ridiculous. Like, I believe in medication as a last form. If you have tried all of the home remedies, like, your baby has a fever, the first thing you do is take them out of their clothes. If the fever doesn't go down, put them in the bath. If the fever doesn't go down, try to sweat out the fever. If the fever still doesn't go down, then you medicate. The first thing that you should do is never give them Tylenol first off. I understand that's the easy thing, but it's not the right thing. Um... Cloth versus disposable diapers. So for me personally, I really want a cloth diaper. I have always really wanted a cloth diaper. But that being said, Dustin is totally not up for cloth diapering. So I'm working on him for the next baby, but I have not cloth diapered him. And the last one's the cried out method. And I personally do not believe in this method. She is a great sleeper. She's always been a great sleeper. You put her down in bed, she goes to sleep. Um, and she was, like I said, she co-slept with us till 10 months. So... People who say co-sleeping babies are terrible. Tay was a little bit harder because he co-slept so long. But Faith co-slept for 10 months and she was the easiest thing ever to get into transition into a bed. The only time we ever have a problem with either of the kids in sleep is when they're sick. Um, but anyways, that is my controversial parenting. And like I said, all of the things that I say for my family doesn't necessarily mean that I think those things about anybody that chooses to do things differently than I do. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and don't forget to check out our Facebook fan page, our Instagram, and our blogger, and I'll post all the links.